Hi everybody, welcome to this video on how to install Plex Media Server on a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3, the easy way. The product that we have on our screen is Raspberry Pi Plex Media Server and it really is an image that we are going to deploy to our Raspberry Pi. As you can see there are a number of versions available. Please be sure that to select one of these. The version marked new is the most current version at the time of you viewing the product. If you would like to know the improvements between the relevant versions, please refer to the Specifications tab. It will give you an indication of the release date and whatever improvements or changes have been done between the versions. We also offer additional how to install documents. These are supplementary documents. We also offer additional solutions. They are also supplementary solutions. We offer free bonus tools. As we proceed through this video, you will see how we use each of these tools and you will be able to decide which of these tools you would like to download. They are also available from open source sites such as SourceForge. Once you've made your purchase, please then head on over to your download section. You will be presented with the files that you have just purchased. The key file here is the setup document which guides you from downloading your relevant product right up to streaming your first video. The Site Manager file contains the credentials which are imported into FileZilla in order to do your FTP connection and download your product. If you have purchased any supplementary documents or products, they will also be visible under your account's download. Let us download the Site Manager now. Let us proceed to open a short presentation on what we will be covering during the rest of this video. We will be downloading the file, extracting the image file, writing the image file to a micro SD data card, expanding the file system and then accessing the Plex Media Player. These are the five easy steps to installing this product. Let us open FileZilla. Once you've opened FileZilla, please import the Site Manager file that you've just downloaded. Accept and agree. And then select your Site Manager connection, which will connect you and your product that you purchased will become visible. Your image file is contained inside a zip file. Please double click this to begin your download. We are going to pause this video until this download is complete. Welcome back everybody. The download is completed and we have moved the zip file into another folder ready for the rest of the video. Let us now open up our file manager. You will need to extract the image file from the zip file. Once this is busy extracting, we will open up a product called Win32 Disk Imager. This is one of the free bonus tools or one of the tools that you may download from SourceForge. We do have a Mac option, that uh, a Mac product that does the same uh, job as the Win32 Disk Imager and it's clearly marked Mac on the free downloads tools. Please over here we have a micro SD card reader writer and we have a micro SD 8 gig SD card class 10 for purposes of this demonstration. Any product or brand or embedded card reader or writer that you have which is suitable you can use. Let us plug this into our system. As you can see the drive letter is mapped. Please select the drive letter that represents your micro SD card reader writer and also select the image file that you have just extracted. Then click write agree and the image will begin writing to your micro SD card. We're going to pause this video until this process is completed. Welcome back everybody. As you can see the write is successful. We say OK to the write. 
we exit and let's eject the card writer once it's ejected we can disconnect it over here we have a Raspberry Pi 3 model B um, power cable network cable and the SD card that we've just uh, written the image to let's connect this to the network let's insert our micro SD card and let's power up the Raspberry Pi typically there's a dis display connected to the Raspberry Pi through the HDMI uh, port um, this will give you a console view of the Pi booting there are two users that are default on the image uh, root and pi and both users passwords is raspberry one can log on at console using either pi or, or root and type in the command ifconfig which will produce an IP address the IP address is then used to access the pi via a browser or via putty which is our terminal SSH session so which we can get a shell login all right let's open up putty insert the IP address of your PAR make sure it's an SSH session and click open here we can log on as one of the users root with a password raspberry we enter the command df space minus h which essentially stands for disk free in human readable format as you can see it only sees 1.7 gig and we've just inserted an 8 gig SD card so essentially we need to expand this file system to fill the entire SD card in order to do this we type in a command called raspy hyphen config we select the option to expand the file system by pushing enter we say OK, we tab on over to finish, and we agree to let the Pi reboot. As the Pi reboots, it disconnects the session, and we wait for the Raspberry Pi to come back up. Let's restart the session, and log back in as root. We enter the same command df space minus h. And as you can see, our card has our file system has now expanded. We can choose to exit putty because we'll no longer need it for the rest of the procedure. Right. Let's connect. To our Raspberry Pi Plex media server. We enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, followed by the port 32400 and the URL web. As you can see, our Raspberry Pi is up and running. We agree to the terms and conditions, and then we can proceed to add the relevant library. Please be sure to check your settings, your Plex version and your server version the rest of the setup document will guide you through setting up your first library and we hope that you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching